Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pop, horror, that kind of thing. Um, today, uh, surprising stuff, it's my weekly wrap up. So why surprising? Well, it's been a bit of a strange reading week for me in that I've read um, some things that are kind of, I suppose, outside of my normal comfort zone, which I've really enjoyed. And then something that I thought I was going to really enjoy, which I couldn't get into at all. Um, and I've also, I don't know, I've just, I felt like I've read a bit less than this week. So last week when I did this video, I'd run, I'd read about eight, seven or eight books, I think, partly because I'd had time off work. Um, this week, I've got through a lot less. Work has been very hectic, um, which has been distracting me a bit. Um, and also, as I said, there was one book I, I tried to get into that I just couldn't get into at all. Um, so that slowed me down a bit as well. But also I've I've changed my approach to reading too. Um, and I've talked about this in a different video, but I've abandoned having a Goodreads goal. I've abandoned having um, a set TBR for the month and I'm mood reading a, a lot more. Um, and what that's meant is I've broken one of one of the rules um, I laid out in the video I did ages ago on how to read faster, which is I am reading more than one thing at once. Um, but I'm doing that in a very defined way in that I'm reading short story. I'm reading a couple of short story collections alongside other things. And I'm reading those short story collections in a particular way. So I'll talk a bit about that um, in a little while. Um, so, yeah, it's felt like a bit of a strange week and the week ahead is a bit is just a bit weird as well in terms of work and stuff like that so um, I'm working Monday and Tuesday and then on Wednesday I've got to go away for the day for work um, which is going to involve me being on a train for about 10 hours um, so I will, <laughs> I will do some work on the train but we'll probably get some reading done as well um, and then I'm off Thursday and Friday so I've talked on the channel before about the fact our bedrooms being done up um, the wardrobes which are huge are getting delivered uh, on Thursday and installed um, so I've got the day off work because um, I think there's going to be a lot of noise um, and then I've taken Friday off as well because it's my birthday on Saturday so I figured I didn't want to, I didn't want to go back to, to work um, for a day the day before my, my birthday um, so I'm going to have a sort of hopefully I think thir I think Wednesday is going to be very tiring Thursday will be very noisy and hopefully Friday I can chill out a bit um, and then it's a long weekend as well because it's a bank holiday um, in the UK on the 2nd of May or whatever it is um, right so anyway that's enough bollocks um, let's get on with the books so I've read so I've finished three books this week um, so I'll do the paper book first so the paper book was The Executioner California Hit by Don Pendleton so I can never remember and they don't annoy me they don't stay on the side of them what number they are in the series but it's like book nine or something like that I think um, so yeah it was not a standout entry in the series by any means um, but it was entertaining um, it was uh, yeah it was it was fun so it's Bolan in San Francisco um, going up against both the mafia and like the Chinese gangs teaming up uh, with an Asian American um, kind of she's not exactly a federal agent but she's you know she's one of the good guys um, so they naturally fall into bed together but also you know team up against the baddies um, so yeah it was it was entertaining I enjoyed it um, so that is very much the kind of thing I normally read. Now the book I struggled with was this, so The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie, which so many people have raved about. Um, Michael K. Vaughan absolutely loved it. Who else raved about it? Somebody else. Oh, um, Jeff Reads really liked it as well. So I was really looking forward to reading this and I just couldn't get into it at all. So and doubly disappointing because I was doing it um, as a buddy read for, with Gareth from Book Songs and Other Magic. So I was really keen to like it and was looking forward to the experience of you know, reading it with him. So apologies again, Gareth, but I just couldn't get on with it at all. I managed about 60, 70 pages, but I just found it it really difficult to grasp what was going on. And this is a problem I have sometimes in books. I had it in Watership Down as well. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's, I mean, both those, both this and Watership Down are fantasy. So I don't know if that's got something to do with it, but I really struggled to keep track of all the characters, even though in this, there aren't that many. And to keep track of exactly what was going on and i found i kept on having to skip backwards um and as a, as a result it just felt quite painful to read and given that it's 500 pages long and is the first in a trilogy 
I decided to quit while I was ahead um, and DNF'd it, as I say, at about 70 pages. So, yeah, again, sorry, Gareth, but I just, I just couldn't get into it. Um, so after that, I picked up something completely different, which I really enjoyed, which was Daisy Jones and the Six uh, by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So not the kind of thing I normally talk about on the channel um, at all. I had read Taylor Jenkins Reid's uh, other book, or one of her other books, uh, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I really enjoyed as well. Um, so Daisy Jones and the Six is a story about uh, this singer, Daisy Jones, and this band, the Six, um, who, you know, kind of get together in the 70s and make music, basically. Um, it's quite interesting in that it's told completely as um, interview snippets. Um, so there's this interviewer going around interviewing people who are either part of the band or, you know, who knew the, the people involved back in back, back in the 70s. Um, and it's, you know, it's got all the stuff you'd expect in a book like that, really. It's got, you know, their kind of their rise to success, struggles with drugs, uh, struggles with, you know, with groupies and roadies and things like that. Um, a bit of romance, um, a bit of unrequited love. Um, you know, it's got some, some great stuff about the music biz, which I found quite interesting. Um, and uh, yeah, it was just, it was just a, a really entertaining book. I'm not sure it's got any real depth to it and it's got a bit of a message at the end about um you know about about you know finding that finding the right person for you i suppose um so yeah there, there was some stuff like that in it. but but overall it was it was you know a very entertaining light read um so i did enjoy that and then after that i read something kind of similar in that it wasn't something that you necessarily associate with the channel. So I read, oh, I've forgotten the name of it now. I keep on forgetting the name of this book, The Whispering Dead um, by Darcy Coates. So if you don't know Darcy Coates, she's a, a self-published, originally a self-published writer. I think she's Australian, um, who's become very successful and is now traditionally published. And she writes what people often refer to as cosy horror. So it's, you know, it's definitely horror. And, you know, The Whispering Dead definitely had like supernatural elements in it. Um, but it's just it's just kind of light and fluffy and very readable so this this one is about a young woman so it's first in in a series the second one in the series is out and the third one's due to come out later this year so it's about and i think it's called i think the series is called the gravekeeper series um i might have got that wrong if i've got it wrong i'll put a subtitle up um so yeah it's about this young woman um whose name escapes me now who um at the start of the book she's got amnesia um, there's someone out to kill her. She's like being chased, and she and she ends up in this small town um, and manages to take refuge with the local priest. Um, and uh, basically, it's it's about what happens after that. So she gets involved with other people in the town. It turns out she's got these kind of psychic, slightly psychic powers, and she can see she can see dead people and that kind of thing and it's about her investigating some past wrongs that have gone in the town to to get um to get closure um for for a ghost basically um but it was really it was really entertaining um so i th i gave it three stars rather than more than that because it is it, it's incredibly light and fluffy to the point that it feels quite insubstantial um, but it was it was really fun. She does so. Darcy Coates does characters really well. All the characters are really distinct. You really get to like the characters. You know all the characters apart from the characters you're supposed to hate. All the other characters are really likable. You know they're slightly flawed in ways, but in flawed in ways that's kind of cute. Um, so yeah, it was just it was just a very amusing and entertaining read. I really enjoyed it. Um, so alongside. Um, the Darcy Coates, uh, sorry, alongside Daisy Jones and the Six, because I didn't feel I could, I could purely read something as light and fluffy as that. Um, I read or started reading Dreadful Tales by Richard Layman, which is a short story collection that I picked up recently. So I read the first four or five stories in this, which are pure Layman, but but Layman um, unfettered by the fact that he has to have enough substance and plot to to form a novel. So they're like little, some of them are like little vignettes of just bizarre um vaguely sexualized horror um so yeah quite entertaining I, I will continue reading the the collection um it was it was good fun and the other um collection i've been reading hold on is this one um just wait for my kindle to refresh so the locked room mysteries um which is um uh, edited by Otto Penzler, who also did the big 
book of pulps that I've got back there. Um, so this is this is fun. So it's 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 like I think there's 66, 67 stories in it. So if it was a paperback, it would be the same size as, as that big book of pulps, I suspect. Um, but it's really good so far. So I read the first two stories. So the first was um, Murders in the Rue Morgue by Edgar Allan Poe, which I had read before. And to be honest with you, I'm not a massive fan of. I like Poe's other stuff. But this story, I just f find a little bit difficult to get into. Um, but it's credited with being the first locked room mystery. And if you don't know the term, so a locked room mystery is, is a mystery where it seems impossible that the, that the crime was carried out. So, you know, the body is found in a room that is locked with, with no way in or out, that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, the first one, the first story was in the room, which is, which is fun. And the, the kind of denouement at the end is, is enjoyably grisly. Um, but it's a bit, you know, I'm, I'm not convinced it's Poe's best story. Um, and, but the second story was brilliant. So the second story was The Problem of Cell 13 by Jacques Futrell, um, which is about this. So it's the first story featuring this character who's called, oh, I've forgotten what it's called now. The Thinking Machine, I think is what they refer to him as. So his real name is Professor Van Dusen, um, but he's referred to as The Thinking Machine. Um, and in this story, he has like a bet, basically, um, with some friends of his that he can get locked in a prison cell in a high security prison with nothing, you know, taking nothing but his clothes in with him and manage to escape. Um, and he has to do it within a week. So it's just about that. So it's about he gets locked in the cell and he does manage to escape, as you know he will, and then explains how he's done it. And it's it's deeply, deeply silly and completely implausible, um, but also incredibly entertaining. I don't know how old it is. I think it's kind of 1920s. Uh, hold on, let me see. Oh, no, 1907. So, yeah, so a really old story. I first published in 1906. Apologies. So, yeah, so a very old story, but re really, really entertaining. I really enjoyed it. And I'm reading this. So I'm taking a leaf out of... Um, uh, Gina Stanya's book uh, and I am I've got this on my Kindle clearly and I'm keeping the Kindle by the bedside and I'm reading a or not reading necessarily a whole of but reading some of a locked room mystery each night um, before dropping off um, so I don't have to have the light on and, and disturb Mrs Criminoli um, but I can I can still do a bit of reading so that's been fun and I'm enjoying that and I'm, I'm finding that having a short story collection where you can you know you make sure you finish a story before you go back to the novel you're reading so you're not getting torn between the two things um, is it seems to be working for me as a good way of reading um, yeah so that's what I've been reading this week um, in the week ahead also I'm currently reading this um, autumn, autumn Gothic by Brian Bowyer which Brian very kindly sent me a copy of so I am um, I don't know, about two-fifths of the way through it, and it's really good so far. It's, uh, so I've only read his short stories before, um, read his collection Sinister Mix, which I really liked. This is just bonkers, this book. It's incredibly dark, um, incredibly violent, incredibly fast-paced. Um, you know, the, the number, the body count already is very, very high, and, and death comes completely unexpectedly you know it comes out of the blue consistently no matter which characters you're dealing with no matter where they are death is is just you know a page turn away um so yeah i'm really enjoying it so it's about it was about a, a, a number of different characters um i think there's about three different subplots going on at the moment and it feels like they're all going to converge so i won't talk too much about it because i am going to do a, a full review of it i think um when i finished it but yeah I'm, I'm really really enjoying it so far um after i've read that i'm not sure what i'm going to read i've got a ton of stuff behind me clearly i might try and start one of the Piers anthony xanth novels that i picked up the other day or i might read um, so I didn't feature this in the book haul I did the other day because it hadn't arrived. Um, but The Omen, the first of The Omen books, has arrived now. So I'm quite tempted to reread that. I've read it years and years ago. Um, so I might I might read that um, in the run-up to um, Horror Mayhem and Garb August. Because um, I'm going to read, I think I've probably finished the series during Garb August. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been reading. In terms of channel stuff, so what have we had? Let me get my iPad see what we've had go up on the channel this week so i did my um why i love horror sunday bollocks video uh, last sunday which people seem to quite enjoy uh i did the quarter year crisis book tag um which was good fun i've done a review of come closer by sarah gran her kind of demonic possession novel uh, which i really enjoyed i've done a couple of book hauls i probably won't be doing any more book hauls for a while because i'm trying to slow down on the on the book buying um, and I did a library tour of some of my crime books, um, ones I haven't read yet. So let me know 
Um, if you ha if you haven't watched any of those videos and you like the sound of those, do check them out. In the week ahead, um, I may do a what is trash video. So I'm gonna definitely gonna do one at some point, but I'm not sure exactly when it's gonna be. So obviously, you know, we've got Garbogus Garbogus coming up in August. We haven't done the kind of official announcement videos for it yet, but those will be forthcoming at some point. We've got a fantastic team of hosts lined up, quite a diverse team across you know different areas of BookTube. Um, so yeah, looking looking forward to um, to doing the announcement videos for that. But I think we'll probably do those towards the end of May. Um, uh, but I am going to do a what is trash video because a lot of people have been asking me, you know, what classifies as you know what 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 is classed as trash literature, and the, and the answer is it's kind of up to you to an extent. Um, but there are some um, some kind of pointers you can follow, I guess. So I'm going to do a video um, on that just to give people a bit of an idea of, of what I consider to be trash. Um, but clearly it's a personal thing. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the picture this book tag, which I was tagged in uh, by Greg and other Bibliophile Reads. So uh, I, will, I will do that one. Um, I've got a review video of, of... So it will either be a review of Autumn Gothic, if I manage to finish it and get a video filmed, or I've already got one filmed for uh, the James M. Cain book, uh, The Postman Noise Rings Twice, so it may be that one instead. Um, and I'll try and do a library tour video as well, if I can get some more books down from the from the attic. Um, and Sunday Bollocks tomorrow, um, as normal. I don't know what I'm going to do it about yet, but I will try and get something up um, for people to, to watch and have a think about. Um, aside from that, I've, I've reached this morning um, the lofty heights of 1,300 subscribers, which seems crazily high um, so thank you um, as always to everyone who subscribes um, I really hope you enjoy the content do let me know you know in the comments um, what you want to see more of what you want to see less of what, what you think um, I, I'm doing well and what you don't think I'm doing well um, I've got a microphone um, so I'm using some of the money I've got from monetization and um, so I'm getting paid by YouTube now and I've used uh, that money well I've actually I've actually not quite earned enough yet to pay for the microphone, but I'm, I'm figuring it'll even out in the end. So I've bought a microphone, so hopefully the, the quality of the audio um, in these videos um, will improve. I had used the microphone on yesterday's video, the book haul video I did, um, but I found out a way to, in, to boost the volume. So hopefully, um, I've done that for this video, and hopefully the volume on this video will be better and the, and the clarity of the audio should be better as well. Um, yeah, and also I wanted to say a big thank you to Navi. So I've had my first um, coffee bought for me. So if you don't know, coffee is a is a, a kind of a, a service, I guess, where people can contribute towards you know the the work of creators they enjoy. So I've got a coffee page um, which is linked in uh, the description for for my videos. Um, and Navi very kindly bought me a virtual coffee. Um, so thank you very much, Navi. Um, I, I do appreciate that. I appreciate, you know, whether people want to contribute via that or my Amazon wish list is in the description for my videos as well. If anyone wants to do that, either to buy me a book or to buy me a coffee um, on, on coffee, that's amazing. Um, but I, I certainly don't expect it. All, all I hope for is that people watch and enjoy the videos and, and you know, comment if they if they are stirred to make a comment. Um, yeah, but if people want to go above and beyond that, then that's that's really really genuinely lovely so thank you um so yeah that's it really um so yeah a bit of a mixed week reading wise a bit of a funny week coming up with work and things like that um but i, I will continue to to try and get videos out as often as i can um i'll certainly have a tuesday wednesday thursday and sunday video up um this week if i can get something done for monday and friday as well then i'll, I'll put something up on those days too um but yeah as always um thanks for watching let me know if you've read any of the books i've talked about um, let me know what you're what you're reading at the moment. If you if you haven't read any of the books I'm talking I've talked about, um, yeah. But hope you're safe and well. Hope you are reading good stuff, and I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.